to support their communities. They love what they do, and it shows. Your community, your bank, Midwest Bank. Have you been accused of a crime? Is your freedom at stake? At Liberty Law Group, we are committed to the defense of liberty for those accused. Facing the court is stressful, overwhelming, and full of uncertainty. At Liberty Law Group, we believe in treating every person with respect, compassion, and understanding. When legal troubles are keeping you up, trust Liberty Law Group to fight your battles. To learn more, call 877-42-LIBERTY. That's 877-42-LIBERTY. Not many businesses can say they've made it 60 years, but Madsen's Bowling and Billiards can. With 12 bowling lanes in the biggest pool room in Nebraska, where else would you go to enjoy an afternoon or evening? There's a great daily specials like $2 Tuesdays, games of bowling, shoe rentals, draft beers, and tacos, all just $2 each. Have a delicious burger at EJ's Lounge before or after your bowling or pool session, and you'll leave satisfied. Madsen's Bowling and Billiards at 47th and Dutton. Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. Jake Sorensen here for The Body Shop. My wife is nearing her due date with our first child and has been in need of a good massage as her body continues to change and adapt. Dennis and the team at The Body Shop were incredible with the prenatal massage that she's still talking about today. I was also able to get a deep tissue massage, so it was a great bonding experience and a unique couple's massage in general. If you're in need of stress relief, book a massage today at thebodyshoplincoln.com, The Body Shop at 48th and A. Gaina Trucking is hiring CDL Class A and B drivers. Gaina Trucking guarantees a 40-hour work week year-round. And their strong team culture makes it not a job, but a career. Gaina Trucking offers health, vision, and digital insurance, 401k with company match, an employee assistance program, and other bonus programs. Build a better career today with great team culture at Gaina Trucking. Learn more and apply today at gainatrucking.com. At Parkview Animal Hospital in Lincoln, it's not just the professional care that sets them apart, but their warm staff and state-of-the-art facilities. Whether it's for a routine checkup or a comprehensive medical procedure, at Parkview, your pet isn't just another number, but a valued member of their caring family. Visit them at pahlincoln.com today and in person just south of 14th and Pine Lake Road. Parkview Animal Hospital, your pet, our passion. For happier, healthier furry friends. At Fairway Meat Market, your family, and as part of the family, they want to save you money on your meat and groceries. Now, through April 7th, enjoy USDA Choice 8-ounce New York Strips for $6.99 each, hickory smoked bacon for $4.99 per pound, fresh boneless skinless chicken breast for $2.99 per pound, and whole tri-tip for $9.99 per pound. That's all at Fairway Meat Market in the Rockledge Square Shopping Center, just south of 84th and Van Dorn. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your lengthy forecast for today, some clouds this morning will give way to sunshine this afternoon. It'll be breezy, an afternoon high around 55. Tonight, mainly clear and breezy, an overnight low around 33. And tomorrow, we'll see mainly sunny skies and more wind, an afternoon high around 54. Your all in this Kyle Clucker for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. The Drive with A.D. and Raph. We're, we're going to hear from Troy Dannon for the first time today in a, in a formal capacity. What are you hoping to hear? I wanted to hear his goals, what he plans here. I know he just got here, but at least early goals. I want him to come in and say that he is going to also do everything in his power to make Nebraska not a, a school that people use it as just a stop to go to somewhere else. Not much. I, I really do. I want him to say little, but do a lot. Just come in, say how happy to be here. Don't say this is your last Stop bull crap. Talk, talk about your family. Weekdays from 8 to 10 on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. 
The Omaha Supernovas are back in action this Tuesday, April 2nd, versus the San Diego Mojo at the Viejas Arena in San Diego. The Mullen Motors pregame show with Derek Pearson and Renee Saunders starts at 8 p.m. with first serve at 9. Make sure to tune in to the next Ag Appraisal Realty postgame show right after the match ends. Catch all the action on your flagship station, 93.7 The Ticket, and statewide on the Supernovas Radio Network. Early break with Sip and Shake. I'd like to have my fun maybe more like on like a, a Tuesday, like in February or something. Let's see if I can pull a prank on somebody. I, yeah, yeah, but not on it's prank like day. It's like total amateur hour. Yeah, it's just like yeah, national prank day. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I do got a little announcement to make. What's that? Oh, wait, breaking news? I won't be here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Monday. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Wait, can he, this, this, April this. Fool's. Oh! <laughs> he got it. <laughs> That's actually well done. <laughs> so good. Early break with Sip and Jake from 6 to 8 every weekday morning on 93.7 The Ticket. NIPCO is hiring CDL drivers for ready mixed concrete, Husker concrete, and Beatrice concrete. NEBCO offers great pay, medical and retirement benefits, paid time off, and they pay for CDL training. Apply today and start your new career with a $2,500 hiring bonus. From NEPCO's beginning in 1908, it's the employees that have formed the company's solid foundation. Start your career today. Visit NEPCOinc.com. That's N-E-B-C-O-I-N-C.com. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402 590 5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. This is Coach Bill Bush. You all know my passion for Nebraska. Having coached all over the country, I can honestly say there is no place like Nebraska. You know where there's also no place like? Midwest Bank. Midwest Bank has proudly served Nebraska for over 70 years, and they're located in nine different communities. Midwest Bank is ready, willing, and able to meet all your personal, business, and agriculture needs. Your community, your bank, and mine, Midwest Bank. Find out more at Midwest Bank. Member F-D-I-C. Hi, folks. Sean Callahan here for Koppel Chevrolet GMC. And the Chevrolet and GMC Truck Month is now underway. We've got huge savings in Louisville. Get 9000 off or 1.9% for 72 months on select models. Yes, you heard right. That's 9000 off or 1.9% for 72 months happening right now at Koppel. So take that short money-saving drive down 144th Street or check us out online at koppelcars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with roof credit. Stock number G214773. Welcome to the drive with ad raff and amon green former husker football national champion speaker and author aaron davis nebraska will win the national championship the cornhuskers beat miami it is history 13 and 0 and bring that trophy back to lakers former arena football league quarterback former head coach of the capital city crush and guru of husker football history Chris Rapp. 25 straight wins for the Cornhuskers. One of the most dominating stretches in college football history. We may have seen one of the best teams in the history of college football tonight. 12-year NFL veteran. He's got some speed to go with strength. Huskers and Green Bay Packers Hall of Famer. Shovel pass to Green. And the Vikings territory finally brought down. And University of Nebraska eSports coach Amon Green. Look at Green. All by himself. 20, 10, touchdown! Brought to you by Sand Hills Global on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we are back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. This first hour is proudly sponsored by Sand Hills Global. Sand Hills Global is looking to fill hundreds of new openings in sales, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Career and internship opportunities are available at the global headquarters in Lincoln. Apply today at sandhills.jobs. Got it. Boom. And oh my, I love Tuesdays when Chef Matinee comes in. Yeah, man, this uh, this uh, creation he made this morning, he said he, it doesn't even have a name for it. Yeah. 
Yeah, he, he all just said, you know, I, I don't know what you call it. When it's that good, you ain't got to say nothing. Oh, just say here. Well, it's meat and potatoes, so Midwest, you know. There you go. Yeah, he's got a the spiciness to it. Yeah, he's got the eggs. He's got the uh, the cheesy potatoes on yeah, there. The breakfast, bacon, bacon. Some um, in fact, we gotta have when he gets some cooking. Yeah, come say a few sauce. words in here. That sauce he puts on. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh good. Yeah, he's coming in here right now. Yeah. I mean, the, the sauces, description. The sauces are the part that really sets it off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can make eggs, but man, with the, yeah. the stuff he kicks on there. And all the, you know, just all the, uh, the, uh, the different things the to cilantro, the cilantro in Chef Matt. And he's oh, got his, bringing his assistant. Yes. And he's got his beautiful bringing daughter his here with her here. Ba- what, Bailey? Brindley. Brindley. Brindley, come on in. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> come on in. Here, you can take mine. <laughs> Folks, we got, we got Chef you Matt. <laughs> Chef you Matt Nay in the house and his daughter, Brindley's assistant. Brother, what what is on this? First of all, good morning to you both. Yeah, good, good morning. morning. Good morning. What do you, what what is what, you didn't you said you didn't have a name for it? I don't have a name for it. I just kind of made it up as I went. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I know, right, so, true from the yes, hip. Right the base there. is it's a right. uh, cheesy hash brown that I put a bunch of like garlic confit, uh-huh. caramelized onions. Oh man, all kinds of herbs and spices in it. Then we topped it off with some eggs. Yes. Right? Yep. Um, that's got a jalapeno cream cheese. Ooh. And a That's cream that I infused with uh, some of the garlic confit, um, rosemary, thyme. Mm. Just kind of let that cook mm. down. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. And then what else do we do? We have a chorizo gravy. Ooh. We've got Ooh. yeah, that. Oh, Ooh, man, so fire. Yeah. Some fresh herbs on it. Um, gosh, what else was on there? Ooh, a jalapeno yeah. crema. <laughs> so you have just, like seriously keep I going, see, bro. Thank yeah. <laughs> They were like, uh, and then you have the cilantro on top. Yep, man, so good. Yeah, all them words that he said is um, on fire right now. Delicious. So you're you, you got your food, your food prep going right now. Yeah. So I'm sure people listening, they they've got to get involved in this and just be a part of it. I mean, everything you make is amazing. I appreciate it. You know, you got to put love into it. Yeah, and I just I, re- I love the process of cooking. Right from the prep. Mm-hmm. To uh to creating the plate, it's not even about the eating for me. It's just about it's, it's, it's the, the process, the preparation, the, the, yeah, process. the creativity, everything that goes into it. Mm-hmm. That's really what I love about it. Mm-hmm. So, Matt, last time we spoke, last time you were here, um, it's been a little well, not too long ago. You talked about the food prep, you know, the service that you're doing right now. Yeah. Tell us how's that how's that going for you right now? It's going what? good. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> she says it's good. Uh, we're gonna launch a new website here, actually. Okay. Uh, to give people more options. Okay. To add to on. To do it. Um, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, so one of the sauces that he had was a roasted red pepper sauce. Mm-hmm. Um, so something like that would be like an add-on option. Okay. Right. So if you want that included in your meal prep, you make that's going to be an like option that. for it. So what, what is the website? So it's chefmatinee.com. Chefmatinee.com. N-E-H-E. Folks, if you want food prep service, it's chefmatinee.com. You will not be disappointed. Do you cater to folks who may be vegan? So with yes. the current option, no. Mm-hmm. But I think there's definitely opportunities there. What about gluten-free? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Folks, we had the official chef of the drive matinee in the house with us. We had Brindley assist his daughter with us as well. She's out of school. She's loving it. She's on the mic, singing, humming, helping dad out, doing her <laughs> thing. Brindley, how, how old are you? Six years old. We got six-year-old Brindley in the house this morning as well. Folks, we want to thank Matt, uh, Matt, Chef Matinee for being here. Again, chefmatinee.com, chefmatinee.com, N-E-H-E. That's how you spell his last name, N-E-H-E is how you spell that. Um, We have a full show for you today, folks. Creighton, Nebraska tonight. Um, Also, some transfer portal news that took place. We'll discuss that quite a bit as well. Last night's big game results. I tell you what, I was tired just watching the game. The the pace started off so fast with uh, Iowa and LSU. And then, of course, the uh, USC-UConn game was a heck of a game last night as well. We got a guest at 930. Folks, it is a a rainy Tuesday morning, but if you woke up, you're doing pretty good. Yeah. It's the drive. We got Ralph, AG, myself, Nick Holton, and out. Chef Matthew Nay again, chefmatthewnay.com. Check it out. You will not be disappointed. We'll be right back, folks. Go hog wild pit barbecue. 
If the week's been too hectic to even think about dinner, or your family can't handle one more night of leftovers, then it's time to let Hogwild do the cooking. Hogwild's family packs are one heck of a good deal for a complete barbecue meal loaded with all the smoked meats, tasty sides, buns, and sauces you need to feed your family. Order online at GoHogWild.com. Hogwild Pit Barbecue, 3210 Cornhusker Highway in Lincoln. But don't be late, we close at 8. Your sprinklers are watering the street or flooding your backyard. If you're on a list that doesn't exist, it's time for Judson Irrigation. At Judson Irrigation, Lee or Lacey or Judson will make an appointment. You pick the time and they'll be there to fix your sprinkler system. Now that's service, a dying art these days. Keep summer green. Call Judson Irrigation, 402-420-6277 or JudsonIrrigation.com. Are you looking to get into the electrical construction industry or wanting a new scene? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Working at Continental in Lincoln isn't a job, it's a career. And right now, they've raised wages again, and they're hiring for production operators at $24.62 per hour, which grows to $28.97 per hour within three years. Skilled trade positions now start at $33.36 per hour with opportunities to make more based on certifications. Continental also has salary jobs available and great benefits plus medical and prescription costs at very low premiums. Dental, vision, and life insurance are offered at no premium cost to the associates with increased bonuses and vacation for new hires. To learn more or apply, go to ContinentalJobs.com with keyword Lincoln. Come work at Continental today. My dream was to work in commercial banking, but it required a college degree and I didn't have one. I found out that Doan had classes for adult learners on the Lincoln campus and online. So I earned my bachelor's degree and five months later, I landed my dream job. I decided to continue my education and now I'm working on my MBA at Doan. For me, the Doan experience has been life changing. Take your internet service to new levels with Allo, your award-winning internet provider across our fiber hoods. Allo isn't just about the fastest internet available. It's about connecting you to your world, work, and play seamlessly. Our award-winning service ensures affordable, secure, and reliable connectivity, setting us apart. Ready to transform your internet experience? Experience the fiber difference today. Sign up now at allofiber.com. Allo, connecting your world. Hey there, fellas. It's your girl, Jordan, with Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Women may be complicated, but I make sure buying jewelry isn't. Your gal has a style, and you can figure this out. Is she more of a classic necklace kind of gal, or does she rock the boho chic vibe with layers of delicate bracelets? This is crucial intel. Not trusting your intel? Stop in the store, and we'll sort out the details. I promise to make this super easy. Until next time, this is Jordan at Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Happy shopping, guys. You can get diesel anywhere, but what about atomic diesel? That comes from Stern. Atomic diesel is your solution to all your cold weather problems. Prevent clogged fuel filters, increase your fuel economy, and save money with atomic diesel. Contact Roger at Stern today by calling 1-800-477-2744 to see how Atomic Diesel and the rest of their line of fuels and lubricants can keep your operation running at max capacity. Sand Hills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. The Omaha Supernovas are back in action this Tuesday, April 2nd, versus the San Diego Mojo at the Viejas Arena in San Diego. The Mullen Motors pregame show with Derek Pearson and Renee Saunders starts at 8 p.m. with first serve at 9. Make sure to tune in to the next Ag Appraisal Realty postgame show right after the match ends. Catch all the action on your flagship station, 93.7 The Ticket, and statewide on the Supernovas Radio Network. 
Landmark Implement is your local authorized John Deere dealer. Landmark's trained and certified sales staff will help you find the right equipment for your needs at a price that's right for you, all backed by Landmark's extensive parts and service network. Whether it's a tractor, planter, combine, an easy track lawnmower, or gator, every piece of equipment in pre-owned inventory is put through a rigorous inspection so it's ready to work hard for you. Landmark's team works together to make sure everything is sold meets their quality standards. Learn more at LandmarkImp.com or stop into a local Landmark location and experience the Landmark difference. I see the future in our public school classrooms every day. I'm Jenny Benson, president of the Nebraska State Education Association. I also see how critically important parent and community support is to our students' success. Support your public schools. Get involved. Form a business school partnership or become a school volunteer. Great schools and great communities work hand in hand. Sponsored by the Nebraska State Education Association, aired by the Nebraska Broadcasters Association in this station. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Gray on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, folks, we got the Husker. Rifle's like, oh, no, you're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> we got the, uh, first of all, what did you think of that, Josh? Well, Chef, first, Ma- Chef Matt Nate's plate. What'd so that is the first time I had Chef's food. Mm-hmm. And oh, my goodness. I mean, you talk about, I'm going to move the camera there a little bit, but uh, you talk about just a variety on a play, right? You have sweetness, you have kick, you have the eggs. Mm-hmm. It's just the, all the colors. Yeah, isn't that incredible? You got green, you got red, you got yellow. I mean, it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful to look at, and it's beautiful to taste. So yeah, the presentation, Chef, is Chef Matt, you uh, you killed it. It's a rainbow for your taste palette. Yeah, it is, man. It mm-hmm. really is. Yum. Well, I tell you what, will not be a rainbow uh, unless the weather changes dramatically. Uh, the men got Creighton tonight. Uh, they're in Omaha. Uh, hopefully, the weather holds up. They can get that done um, and still play that game. So we'll discuss obviously the results of that tomorrow. Uh, AG, you made it back in town safe last night, man. Yep. yep. You went from because w- was it raining in Houston yesterday? No, it was uh, clear. It was nice and around seventy three, and a little bit of humidity kicking up, man. Mm. Minus but- forty degrees, the same weather here, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, Midwest. Maybe minus thirty degrees Midwest is still the same weather. here. Weather. So well, no, it was good day. Nice. Good weekend nice. for the Easter holiday. Good, good, good. Yeah, good time with the family. Well, y'all, we, we were talking about it on the spillover. You know, it's not news anymore. It's been out there. Me and Raph and uh, um, our fellow 93.7 Ticket fam, Pete Ferguson, we were at Farrell's uh, getting our butts kicked in the gym about 4.30. We come out, and my, my phone, uh, the text message from our good buddy David Freeoff from Renew. David, appreciate you. And I Breaking that. news. Breaking David news. Uh, David let us know, and then uh, Twitter exploded with it. And um, You guys, the transfer portal, Jamarcus Lawrence let us know, uh, let everyone know that he was going to be hitting the portal um, you guys, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Is it, are we at the point to where you have to decide? And I, I, I kind of shared it on the spill of just my thoughts on it is that I'm not getting attached to any player. All I'm saying is I got you for one year yep. and that's all that's guaranteed is one year. Yep. Bar an injury. That's not even guaranteed, but I'm saying one year you're on the roster. What is the new mindset? Uh, and Raph, you brought up a good point where people are bashing them all. You trade, you're leaving, but it's two way street. Yeah. You know, some of our key guys this year <laughs> came from the transfer came from portal. The transfer portal. <laughs> so it's a give and take thing. I want you guys' thoughts. Um, AG, what is that you eat right there, man? That looks good. <laughs> a mango, man. Nothing but fruit. A and, yellow, yellow mango. Nothing but fruits and berries. Yes, it is. <laughs> My man brought mm, out a on mango. The, on the, on the and that joker smell good, too. Yeah. <laughs> A little yellow mango action. I looked to my left. I was like, what is that? First, it looked like a sweet potato. I'm like, my man's eating the raw sweet potato. (laughs) (laughs) I was going to say, AG, AG, how do you stay so ripped? And then we got a green, but we got a sweet potato right there. We got a mango, yellow mango. mango. (laughs) There you go. Salt dogs, if you're listening, he's still ready for that contract. (laughs) For sure. I told you I'm ready. What is the mentality you guys are taking towards this, the transfer portal? Like I said, Jamarcus uh, Lawrence was one that. I didn't expect, but I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised by anyone leaving right now. Yeah. What are you guys' thoughts on it? I mean, I'm. I say it's business. It's free agency for college now, and it's just part of the game. I mentioned this before, as many times we talk about it from any other sport that that this happens is now as a coach, as a fan, you got to understand this is the process of the off season mm-hmm. now. Um, you're gonna have this moment, 
between new recruits signing to then freshmen, sophomores, maybe juniors, and well, we are pretty much every class, you know, depending on their status on roster, that they're, they're going to, you know, make a decision because they feel that they will have a better chance somewhere else. Mm-hmm. So it's a business thing, really. So you can't really flack about it. Throw your, we're just talking about throwing hands up when you're not a, when you're not happy about the call. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah, you don't control this call at all. This is a, a decision he made for himself and his family. Absolutely. Yep. And do I look at it like this? We do. We like we said. We do not know why he left. You know, maybe wanted to be closer to home. Maybe you know. And I know financially it plays a part in that. And that's why I think it's really key. You know, right now, Nebraska fans, like we, like we've said, we don't like. We've talked about this. We don't agree with the way college sports has gone, but either you move forward with with it or you get ran over. 100%. So we're at a point right now where if Nebraska, you know, like I said, I do not know. No one knows, you know, why Jamarcus is leaving or like that, but it's going to come a time to where maybe the NIL is like 1890 and people like that, where it's where Nebraska fans and Nebraska supporters, the loyal Nebraska are going to have to contribute to these, these collectives, these initiatives, you know, to, you know, if it is financially too sweet in the pot for these, for these players. So, I mean, it, it's important. It's a, it's a, I think it's a, a full thing because this is the way of the new age of college athletics is like business decisions. And with business decisions, Nebraska is going to have to be a player in, you know, getting funds to make it a business decision. I mean, that's just the the way of new college athletics. I mean, like I said, we do not like it, but you've that's what you've almost got to do now. Every time you said I do not like, I think you're going to say green eggs and ham. I do not. Like, <laughs> I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like. Oh, but I mean, it's, not, it's never it's never anything that we wanted though, and I mean, it's it's it stinks that it's like this. But if we're going to be a competitor, or we're going to be competitive with with the new age of college athletics. The initiatives are key. 1890 initiative. They they're key. I mean, when the talking about contributions to help the program, that is definitely helping the program. Yeah. You know, Money G in Kansas, good morning to you, brother. He goes, but the portal team just needs to start announcing who is staying rather than who is in the portal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pete Ferguson, what's up, brother? Good sweat yesterday. He goes, the transfer portal mindset is this statement. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just I mean, like I said, you can't get too emotional. No. And you gotta yeah. you gotta for them say, hey, hey, you know what? He decided to uh make a you know change obviously for himself. Hopefully he does well mm-hmm. and see if it you know got the it was the right decision. Hopefully he also continues getting his education wherever he heads to. I mean that's it's interesting that we don't know. Right, yeah. exactly mm-hmm. where he's at. He just jumped in there. It's got to be kind of tough though, being a little kid, being a Nebraska football fan, basketball fan, baseball fan. Because I remember when I was a little kid, I liked Keith and Zone Jones. That was my he guy. Be there, most mm-hmm. likely. I yeah, went out coach, and right? I wanted to, and I and I saved all my money up, and I got my Keith and Zone Jones jersey, and it was the year he wore number twenty four. So I got my number twenty four jersey, and sure enough, the next year he, he changed his six. number to six. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> But he still was on Nebraska's team. So right. I still was able to say, hey, I wore his first yeah, number yeah. at Nebraska. But now you're a Nebraska fan. You got, you're got you saving all your money up for your Amon Green jersey. Yeah. Next, you know, Amon says, I'm transferring to Oklahoma. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. oh. I said, man, I saved up all my money for that jersey. <laughs> you know, the, the currently Nebraska right now, you add in uh, uh, Lawrence yesterday. Uh, you look at the rest of the attrition that took place. Ramel Lloyd Jr. announced a few weeks ago. Uh, Eli Rice, Blaze Keita, C.J. Wiltshire. And then you got Jamarcus Lawrence. So you look at the uh, the scholarship distribution right now. As freshman, you got Nick Janikowski, uh, Brendan Frager. Uh, then as far as sophomore, you got Diop. Seniors, Jawan Gary, Rink Mass, Bryce Williams, uh, and Ron Eulis that is there right now. And so there's a lot of space for Coach Hoiberg. And we and his, and his staff, we know that he was out on the road last night up in Fargo recruiting the big man uh, that was up there. I forget what his name is. I got to bring that up here. Uh, to give it that cat's name is Josh. Remember that guy's name? I forget that. Big yeah, let me guy. look it up for you. Yeah, I'm looking this up right now. But anyway, he was up in Fargo yesterday, and we also had the young man from Bellevue West. Yep. The former power forward was also up there, six nine, two hundred and something pounds. Uh, that was up there as well. So 
We'll, we'll see what happens. It, it's a very fluid situation right now as far as uh, who Nebraska's looking at. Uh, and again, we don't know conversations that could have been yeah. had with each person because they all have that exit. Yep. You know, that end of the season uh, um, uh, interview, meetings, whatever you want to call it with the coaches. And you know what? Just like it is in football, you know, this new transfer portal. Mm-hmm. Some of the people are like, well, why is this kid leaving? Some of those kids were saying, hey, we don't have a scholarship for you more. Yeah. Because I think sometimes people forget, even myself at times, these are one-year deals. You're not right. guaranteed the whole four years. If your performance is not up to par, if the stuff yep. where they think it should be, they don't have yep. to honor that contract, whether it be academics, off-field, on-field. There's a lot of conversations that took it to place that we have no idea exactly. about. Exactly. So those, there's all those factors to keep in mind. You know, So we do wish, like I said, Jamarcus Lawrence and all those young men, uh, nothing but the best when they leave here, but this is the new day and age in the landscape of college sports, yeah. man. And you never know; they they could be back. You never, you never know in today's yeah, you, you don't today's know. college atmosphere. You never know. Uh, but like you're looking at like things he done. You know, he was a Big Ten freshman of the week, Nebraska scholar athlete honor roll, uh, Tom Milesworth citizenship award team member, mm-hmm. and uh, academic All Big Ten in this year. You know, in 2024. So it wasn't like he wasn't here. And didn't have no, you know, he didn't do anything, right? Yeah, he, he made was, an impact. He made it. Yeah, he did. You know, he was so he was a leader. He was going to be a leader um, in this uh, in this team in this in this school. So now it's just he's going to have to reset, and that's the biggest part. I've always going to mention. I'm, I'll rinse and repeat. Is like, okay, you started as a freshman, either recruit or even a transfer. Now you're regardless of what you what you did at here, wherever he goes next, it's reset it. Mm-hmm. is back at zero at the bottom of the totem pole. Yep. And then he has to have that same – he's going to have to grind even harder because now he's a sophomore in less time, yep. basically. Coach uh, Holberg was, uh, was at an in-house recruit, in-house uh, visit with Andrew Morgan uh, from North Dakota State. Uh, six foot ten, 245 pounds uh, from, uh, from Minnesota. He averaged 12.9 points a game last year for them. Uh, shot 56, 55%, five rebounds a game, assists. Um, so he started 59 of the 82 games. I like the size, 6'10", 245. Whether this guy comes here commits, who knows? You never know. I do like the structure. In fact, I was just talking uh, to um, over Easter with a few of my family members and just said, Uncle, why can't Nebraska get a true big man? Because we're watching those games. You know, you're know, We're watching them up and down the court. You yeah. see big burns and um, the rest of those cats. And it's like we, you know, not, not a knock against Mast or or yeah. Gary, but I'm talking about a true big man, 6'10", 6'11". And I ain't saying they got to be good. Yeah. Just, I mean, just serviceable. But it's been – when is the last time, you guys, think about this, that Nebraska's had a true big man? Text line, help mm, us out. Good question. Maybe when Alex, was, Alex March, maybe. When was the last time – Alex March – What heck, that was one – That's year been though? like 10, 12 years ago probably. Yeah. They Text line, help us out. When the was thing the last time we had a true big, big man? man is they're just – they're just not growing on trees everywhere, you know. It's you don't see a a ton of them in in college. About I mean, you and see some, so fat. but you don't. You know, I'm gonna push back a little bit, bro. Really? You see more or? every one of those teams. Now, granted, every one of those 64 teams that we saw in the tournament. I can't say every one because I didn't watch every one. Yeah. But in a, I'm not gonna kind of defute my own point here. Defute my own <laughs> point here. Your top teams always do because yeah. they're gonna go to the yeah. top teams. And, and some you look at UConn. They got like two or three. All right. Duke has like two or three. You know, right. Illinois has got uh, two or three. Illinois yeah. always gets mm-hmm. them. Nebraska, I think, after this year, if they can show another year of consistency, Nebraska becomes that school to where maybe those big men are yeah. saying, hey, you know what? Let me go around Nebraska and sniff around and see what's going on. I think our lack of performance has been our biggest problem of not yeah, attracting a I big agree. man. I agree. Yeah, and also, that's what I was going to say. I mean, it's, it's about, as a player, right, you want to go see if you go to a college, what type of offense and defense they're running that's going to accommodate your skills physically mm-hmm. and mentally. Right. Right. And so mm-hmm. for all the big man schools out there, right. We know they're, you know, it's prominent who they are. Mm-hmm. Some of the big 10 schools, yes. some of the SEC schools, mm-hmm. some of the PAC 12 schools yep. that are there that have been traditionally there for years, mm-hmm. you know, UCLA, yep. we know that's a big man school, Yep, you know, between Purdue, Purdue, um, Illinois, yep. Um, Ohio State. We yep. know those are big man schools. They have the coaching staff. To I will usually get so. Guys so we're too. coming into the fray, right? We had it like Hoiberg and that coaching staff has been co- progressively getting better, mm-hmm. right? They made it flow. They made it to the dance. Yep, they made another first step. round. So now it's just a progress. It's the yep. progress of then, just like earning as a player, you earn your status, mm-hmm. right? From a starter to 
conference uh, team right. to then being an All-American, right? Yep. It's just progressing up. Yep. Eventually, once you start developing, like they have rink, develop rink. Right. And then that'll show, that'll be an advertisement to other mm-hmm. young high school players that'll say, you know what? They had a guy by the name of Rick Mass. And to your, and you to your point, so AG, then when they see that, then they'll be like, okay, I could go there and become the next one. And to your point, so, possibly a portal player. Yeah, that's a biggie. That's, but I'm saying it, it only it, attracts it exactly. if the coaching is developing yeah. the player. Absolutely. One Absolutely. of the reasons I came here is because I knew, you know, it wasn't it wasn't a secret. This mm-hmm. was this was I back I back you yeah, I yeah. back you right. Yep. My high school was I back high school. Right. Yep. Even though it's because my mom made me transfer because of education. <laughs> <laughs> and, people, and people don't want to believe that. The truth is out now. <laughs> they don't want to believe that. But no, it was an educational switch. But at the end of the day, it was I back high. Right. This was I back you. So we were known for having linemen and running backs. So mm-hmm. it was no doubt in my mind that I, I, regardless of where I was from, Nebraska was going to be on the list. Right. Nope. It but was all an institution. These, so, yeah. So yeah. once you put out, that's a that's an advertisement of yourself and your coaching staff of how you develop athletes. Mm-hmm. When, you, when, you de- when you develop enough, eventually you don't have to advertise. And because the kids or the mom, dad, like you go in there, they do, they got, they do a really good job with big men in the paint. You're going to go to NU or you're going to go to Purdue or you're going to go to Indiana, somewhere like that. I think something that this team has developed over time, right, is you talk about the play of the big man. And it kind of, for me, started with Derek Walker, more of the skilled big man. And see, I think for Rank Mass, the big thing that attracted him to playing at Nebraska is you see, wow, Derek Walker was here for that long. He played with that type of skill. I can go into a big time conference like the Big Ten and play in a skilled way. Now it's about, okay. Can we have the skilled guy, but can we have the physical big man? Because that is what honestly demolished him at the end. So in order to take these steps to finally win that game and make it a few rounds, now you need to find that physical big man. And like we saw, they've progressed in certain ways with their mm-hmm. three-point shooting, their defense, big man being skilled. Now you have to take that step for yeah, physicality. You, you really do, because even D. Walk and all his prowess, as good as he was, he was undersized, you know. Three or four inches at times, you know, and you look at uh, one of our texters in here, A.A. Ron, uh, pre- well, not you, A.A. Ron, but appreciate you. I'll get to yours in a sec. Lance t- uh, chimed in, which is, this is spot on. Purdue has a seven foot two kid to take 80 spot next right behind year. Him. Yeah. yeah, right behind him. But like we said, we go back to, they, they've had, they've had success with those big men. So if you're a big man, you're like, well, I want to follow an Edie's footsteps with the success that he's had. Right. So it, and it usually takes, you know, that, you got to break the glass there. So hopefully well, it, goes with, it goes with AG said too, what you're saying right there, Rav, you know, you got to prove that you're, that you're getting coached, you're getting developed to where others begin to take notice and see that progress and yep. say, you know what? I want to go there. I, I see what coach Horberg is doing because Painter's already established himself at Purdue land of big man. We can yep. go Kansas all day long. Mm-hmm. We know what's yep. going on there. Yep. But all those programs I just mentioned are blue bloods yep. in their respective sports. So, uh, hey, hey, Ron, I got you big dog. Appreciate you, man. 96, 97. Yep. Mikey Moore. Exactly, it was a long time ago. Kent, good morning <laughs> to you. Uh, Mikey Moore, absolutely. Pete Ferguson, what's up? A little long take here. He goes, unpopular take. Respectfully, we can't lie and say it isn't what we, we wanted. We didn't build something with an intent not to utilize it. My biggest concern is just like teaching fundamentals, opportunity gaps, et cetera, you know, face that same, that same thing with ensuring that scholarships and families at an early level are well-versed in NIL in the transfer portal. I mean, all families. This isn't just what they're uh, – they get are going to get into college really has to start at the middle school level and elementary school level. Those who know will have an increased advantage. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate you too, Pete. Yep. Uh, Pete, it's a great take. And what you're saying is true. The way that you recruit now is different. Yep. It starts earlier, and there's a whole new class, a whole new curriculum, a whole new terminology on recruiting now. Uh, you you yep. look at Coach Horberg right now. He's literally was just last night in Fargo because you have players that you thought you'd have. That you have to replace. I mean, yeah, yeah. this is it's it's different for everyone now. The athlete, the parent, the coach. It's just a different la- landscape. Well, right I mean, now, back, right? you look at it back in the day. It was you go to sell your program. You know, Hi, I'm Coach Tom Osborne. It's the University of Nebraska. We got this. We're known for IBAX. We're known for this. Now these coaches walk in and like, Hi, I'm from the University of Nebraska. And probably one of the first things you hear from the parents is, So, um, financially, what are we looking at? Bingo. I mean, that, I mean, it changes everything. And you know what, Raph? Not just Nebraska. Everywhere. 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 But the schools who have been good have the advantage because Big Daddy Travis, you got a great point here. Good morning to you, brother. He says, until they get the NIO figured out with rules and regulations, this is how college sports is going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Semi-pros. Yep. Bingo. Oh, yeah. He's spot on. Facts. Facts. Folks, we're going to take a break with you. We appreciate the convo. And yes, um, 
It'd be nice to get a big man. If you know one, let us know. Yeah. Let us know. If you have a seven-foot son. Hey, we'll take 6'10", 6, 6'11". 6, we'll take a seven-foot female, <laughs> male. We'll take whatever. Just send seven-footers our way. Oh, man. That's Folks, crazy. we got history coming up. It's The Drive. It's Tuesday. Chef Matinee broke it down. Check his website out, chefmatinee.com. And nay is N-E-H-E, chefmatinee.com. We'll be right back, folks. It's the ticket, 93.7. Sand Hills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. At Fairway Meat Market, your family, and as part of the family, they want to save you money on your meat and groceries. Now, through April 7th, enjoy USDA Choice 8-ounce New York Strips for $6.99 each, hickory smoked bacon for $4.99 per pound, fresh boneless skinless chicken breast for $2.99 per pound, and whole tri-tip for $9.99 per pound. That's all at Fairway Meat Market in the Rockledge Square Shopping Center, just south of 84th and Van Dorn. Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox, KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Your Lincoln forecast for today. Some clouds this morning will give way to sunshine this afternoon. It'll be breezy, laughing high around 55. Tonight, mainly clear and breezy. Over we'll that low around 33. And tomorrow, we'll see mainly sunny skies and more wind. An afternoon high around 54. Your all in just Kyle Clucker for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. At Parkview Animal Hospital in Lincoln, it's not just a professional care that sets them apart, but their warm staff and state-of-the-art facilities. Whether it's for a routine checkup or a comprehensive medical procedure, at Parkview, your pet isn't just another number, but a valued member of their caring family. Visit them at pahlincoln.com today and in person just south of 14th and Pine Lake Road. Parkview Animal Hospital, your pet, our passion. For happier, healthier furry friends. Hey, Husker Nation, Matt Davison here with 1890. It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan, and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics, and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct impact on the success of our programs. Through 1890, 100% of your contribution goes to the student-athletes. So go to 1890nebraska.com, choose your sport, become a member, and help the Huskers recruit and retain the best. Go Big Red. A team succeeds when they work together. Banking's no different. At UBT, we're in your corner for every financial move you want to make. Your money's backed by a roster of experts who put in the work to know you and your community. So whether you're opening a savings account, buying a home, or planning your future, you always know who to turn to. Working together toward your financial goals, that's a win in our playbook. Union Bank and Trust, equal housing lender member FDIC. Used to spotty shop where our customers send their friends. That's the greatest compliment we can receive. If you've been in an accident, we'll get you back in your vehicle as quickly as possible. Our technicians care about you and your family and repair your vehicle to factory standards. We handle your claim from start to finish and provide a free loaner car. Stop by for a free estimate. Used to spotty shop, just south of 88th and Highway 2. The most recommended used to spotty shop. That's who we are. When you were a kid, clubs were cool. Robotics club and space club and stuff like that. But what do adults get? 
book clubs and quilting clubs? Nah, forget that. How about margarita clubs and old-fashioned clubs? Get to Upside Bar and Lounge for the best clubs in town. Try all 10 varieties of Upside margaritas or old fashions and take home a free souvenir glass. Grab the whole crew and pair it with Taco Night on Mondays or Whiskey Wednesdays. Upside Bar and Lounge at 29th and Pine Lake. The Omaha Supernovas are back in action this Tuesday, April 2nd, versus the San Diego Mojo at the Viejas Arena in San Diego. The Mullen Motors pregame show with Derek Pearson and Renee Saunders starts at 8 p.m. with first serve at 9. Make sure to tune in to the next Ag Appraisal Realty postgame show right after the match ends. Catch all the action on your flagship station, 93.7 The Ticket, and statewide on the Supernovas Radio Network. Constructors is now hiring for all positions, with laborers starting at $23 and up based on experience. Constructors has immediate job openings for laborers, mechanics, bridge builders, operators, and drivers. Start your new career today. Constructors offers great pay, health, dental, and vision insurance, paid time off, paid holidays, and so much more. Join the crew today and be a part of Nebraska's oldest paving company dating back to 1908. For a complete list of openings and to apply online, visit ConstructorsLincoln.com. The Drive with A.D. and Raf. We're, we're going to hear from Troy Dannon for the first time today in a, in a formal capacity. What are you hoping to hear? I want him to hear his goals, what he plans here. I know he just got here, but at least early goals. I want him to come in and say that he is going to also do everything in his power to make Nebraska not a, a school that people use it as just a stop to go to somewhere else. Not much. I, I really do. I want him to say little, but do a lot just come in say how happy to be here don't say this is your last stop bull crap talk talk about your family weekdays from 8 to 10 on 93 7 the ticket and the ticket fm.com old school with dp and j so i knew that it was a crap shoot with the grown-up professionals at the highest level who's gonna bet i don't know whether the starting center's girlfriend broke up with him whether his parents have have groceries that week. I don't know whether his roommate and him had a fight. So why would I, one, why would I want to bet on that? Uh, 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Early break with Sip and Jake. I'd like to have my fun maybe more like on like a, a Tuesday like in February or something. Let's see if I can pull a prank on somebody. I, I, yeah, yeah, but not on it's prank like day. It's like a total amateur hour. Yeah, it's just like yeah, National Prank Day. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I do got a little announcement to make. What's but, that? Oh, wait, breaking news? I won't be here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Monday. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, can you, this, this, April this. Fool's. Oh! <laughs> he got it. <laughs> he got it. That's actually well done. <laughs> so good. Early break with Sip and Jake. From 6 to 8 every weekday morning on 93.7 The Ticket. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Green on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we're back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. It is Tuesday. I looked at the baseball weather for tonight. It's supposed to be between 50 and 52 degrees and a little bit of sunshine, so... They'll be good to go up in, what is it, the Schwab, the Schwab. So, all right, that's where we sit out right now, we'll AG. See what happens, AG. Man. We'll see what happens. Hey, Big Ty, I want to read a few of these texts. Big Ty's got one here. It's a good one. Good morning to you, brother. His daughter's an eighth grader and played at a national qualifier in Chicago this weekend for volleyball. There are recruits there. You could take a combine thing, but they can't talk to you, or the parents say it's getting younger every year. Oh, yeah. It, it, it's, it's, it's Big Ty, I tell you what. It's a business now, you know. It's always been somewhat of one under the table, but now it's just wide open. It is yep. a business right now. True that. Eric says, Raph, you got any eligibility left? Oh, I might. I don't know. <laughs> I, my jumping ability is a little decrepit these hey, days. Hey, big boy for t- that for Denver, he don't jump either. Go, go, Kovic, whatever his name is. Yeah, I always wanted to be a point center. <laughs> Some of those passes by Caitlin Clark kind of reminded me of myself Ooh, back my in my goodness. younger years. I can't wait to dig into that one right mm. there. She was out there dropping dimes. Yeah. <laughs> you get a dime. You get out there yes. like Oprah. <laughs> well, in history, folks, this time in 2000, this, which, which is crazy. It seemed like it's been this long ago, but it was uh, this long ago. In Husker history, check this ticket. How much do you think the ticket prices were, y'all, in 2004 for Nebraska football game? The average ticket price. Josh, you go ahead. What was it? I'll go 
thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Hey, Jeezy. Uh, and that so two oh four oh four four. I would say probably between. Uh, well, I got to give a price or a range. Just, just, just what you think it was. Just throw a number. I would say there. probably like forty five, fifty bucks. Somewhere. Rafferty. Gosh, you took mine. You can say the same thing. I'll say, I'll say forty five. Both of you are spot yeah. on. Yeah. Forty five dollars. Yep. And the ticket prices went up seven point one percent for the two thousand four <laughs> season to forty five dollars. Yeah. And um, at that time. This is from the World Herald, April 1st, 2004. This was no April Fool's joke. So then athletic director Steve Peterson said the fundraising drive for Nebraska football facilities project wasn't a consideration as the Huskers tried to keep a short leash on the season ticket price for 04. They announced that Thursday that the average season ticket for the next season will be $45. It's an increase of $3 per ticket, but just $1.25 more than the average of 2002. Mm-hmm. That yeah. you think about now, what are they now? I, mean, I, I couldn't even tell you. In the 60s, maybe? Oh, I bet they're more than that. They're in the 60s. Text line, let us know. What's the average price of a football ticket right now for Nebraska? Not, you know, like I said, not up, you know, not not like uh, uh, the uh, suite level or nothing like that. years ago, they were about 250 about five minutes before the game started. Yeah. <laughs> That's $2.50. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> you didn't have to put the 50. No. $2. Dude, they were li- that's what shows you how low yeah. Nebraska football was. And it would, it would piss me off to think that we had sunk that yeah. low. Where literally people are like, look, just take it. Yep. Literally, there was times I was walking, you know, we'd be walking around, people are like leaving the show, you know, our pregame or whatever, yeah. over that uh down at Tickets? the Haymarket. One them, one them. Tipsy Tina's. And they were literally not asking for anything. Hey, just take these. Yeah. It shows you how quickly things can change. Uh unknown texture, 1000 Thank you much. He goes, 65 plus your seat fee. 65 oh, yeah. plus your seat, seat fee. fee. I forgot. Yeah, I, yeah, I told you. Yes. Seat fee twice on there. Unknown text for 7783. Good morning. Goes $93. So they have definitely increased uh, quite a bit. Chase B, what's up, brother? He says, good morning. Shout out to the um, uh, to gold t- USHL goaltender of the week, Lincoln Stars on Jan Shostak. Big shout out to Jan. Big shout out to Jan Shostak for Lincoln Stars history, guys. What do you guys got, man? What do you guys got? Well, I got a birthday today. <laughs> That's history. <laughs> well, this yeah, is a birthday. Is. This is this is goes out to a tandem that is it's kind of riddled us, AD, over the last couple of years. But I want to wish a very happy birthday to former Clemson head football coach Danny Ford. <laughs> Danny is seventy six years He's old. He's alive. Today. He is alive. That's I looked mystery, it up today. Yeah. Homer Jordan. He's still alive Homer too. Jordan's still alive. They're all alive. They're all still alive. So no matter what me and AD said over the past couple of years, Clemson. Two of your all-time greats are still both alive. So happy birthday, oh, Danny God. Ford, because, man, that they riddled us. I think one time we said Homer died. One time we said Danny died. Yeah. I think I even said Danny died yesterday on the So, oh, Danny, happy birthday, Danny Ford. He's alive and well. He's yeah. alive and well. People in Clemson are going, when did they die? Yeah, we <laughs> <laughs> Oh. AG, me and Raph was just giving people early deaths, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just talking them. They were walking That's around with the radio. Man. I didn't That's know I was dead. <laughs> you, you beat Nebraska in the Orange Bowl. You're dead. Oh, <laughs> you were dead God. to me. Like man. those Nebraska guys beat it literally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Jeezy, what you got, my what man? I got is the night. So back in the 90s, the emergence of esports and the mm. internet era. So internet aspects mm. expanded in the 90s. So several esports opportunities rose as accessibility spread, and so Nintendo Blockbuster Video. Blockbuster Remember Video, Blockbuster Video? Yes. Hey, right down the road. I was a, I was a Blockbuster and Video employee off of Highway Two. At the yes, you did. Yes. My junior, going into my junior year, <laughs> yes. that was wow. the job. I was always trying to go for movie theater clerk, so ticket yeah. person, yeah, or a shoe store. Or block, when Blockbuster finally hired me, I was like, I'm all in. Because you knew it was unlimited game rentals. Game rentals. That's when they just started game rentals. Yeah, and then yeah. movies. I was, I'm was, a movie guy, too. So, mm. awesome. So, games like Pokemon, Tetris, Super Mario Brothers, Sonic, Virtual Racing debuted in the 90s. Sega and Super Nintendo systems. And the best console that sold during that time was the PlayStation. Oh, I could believe which that. Which was 1994 here. Mm. And then for some of you come PC gamers, Doom. Doom, Quake, <laughs> Unreal Tournament, Starcraft, and Age of, Age of Empires were the head 
liner jo- game genres and games for the 90s. So there you go. Man. I can just imagine people walking into Blockbuster 90s. Just, it kind of looks like Alamon Green. No, there's no way Alamon Green. <laughs> all, that, all that NIL money he was getting. No he was, way. He was doing the State Farm. He was doing the <laughs> NIL. <laughs> he was doing the State Farm commercial yeah. before State Farm. Right. Right. Commercial that, hey. is, man. <laughs> that, I mean, I could have worked there forever. I mean, Black Buster Video, one, like I said, between the movies, because they gave us free rentals as employees. So we got, so at the end of the week, I would work Monday through Friday, right after class. I only had a few classes in my junior year, summer. And come Friday, I would get, take all my rentals on that mm. day. So I'll get like three, four games. All weekend. So I get like four games, video games, and then three movies. Mm. And then between, Have you seen the new Ghostbusters yet? I know. Yes, well, I went to saw it, it this week. This was it in, uh, down in uh, Houston. Yes. It okay. Was, it's worth. It's it's a movie. If you into the Ghostbusters saga and storyline, go see it in theaters. Do yourself a nice little fun boy and girl to enjoy it. It's worth it. I got to go see the second one still. I haven't even seen the or second the re, one. Or the reboot. No, yeah. not, oh, what do you mean? Like the, second one, the, the Ghostbusters 2? Afterlife? I've never seen that or one. The original anyone, two, or any, the original number two. Anyone after, any movie of Ghostbusters after the original one. Oh, okay, you sure. haven't seen Vigo yet. You uh-huh. got to You got to go. What's the, is it Warner Brothers? I forgot. It's uh, it's either on Max. So HBO Max, okay. that is now Max. Or you might be able to find it on Hulu Ooh, or Prime. Or, okay. You could definitely rent it on Apple Plus. Ghostbusters yep, 2 did Apple. get a little bit. So the first two, weird, but weird. Was, it got a little out there at the end. It was, it was, you know, they had to change it up. Yeah, and if you watch enough movies, you watch the movies that have sequels and prequels. I say now prequels is a big thing, but sequels that sometimes they go a little bit different from what the first one did, yeah. the first installment of movie. Because you got to look at it as a business, right? Yeah. Every change movie is a business. Up. You got to yep. change it up. Yep. And if you're like, I'm super into it, so it didn't like the second one didn't bother me too much. Yeah, but I, mean, I, know, I, I know the changes I, you're yeah. talking about. It's like me, like I'm not the fan that is gonna hate. Empire Strikes Back because everybody does that loves Star Wars. They hate Empire Strikes Back. I loved Empire Strikes Back. Me too. Yeah. But is that where they cut open the Tauntaun and suck yes. inside of it? Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, I know. So yeah. I'm not even, I'm going to stop that right there. I'm going to stop that right there because this conversation can go on forever about that. Yeah, man. So I'll stop that comment about Star Wars there. But for Ghostbusters, go see Afterlife or rent Afterlife first. Apple Plus, it's also a few other apps. It's out there. Five ninety nine, three ninety nine. By this time, watch Afterlife first. You'll love it. The ending is great. Yeah, and then really good. Watch um the new one. It's uh something with Frozen in the in the title because the demon, the monster, the ghost is this old um entity that ha- that controls ice. Mm. Fro- so it's called Frozen Empire or something. Like that. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. I'll just check it. Check out. it out. It's worth it. A few more worth from it. the text line. You were the chosen one. <laughs> I just wanted to say that out loud. <laughs> Thirty nine ninety four says just tuning in. You may have already covered it, but what's all the Husker men's basketball transfers? That an indication of what's coming in. Also, Blaze transferring. We need a big man. Yes, we did yeah. throw that un, uh, unknown text, but yeah, we discussed that. And the, our our philosophy on not even our philosophy, our, our our opinion on it was it's just the new landscape of college sports. Yeah, unfortunately, you got to deal with it, and it's going to be we just we just don't. At least mm-hmm. what ours is is we're just not getting attached to any one player. For longer than a year, because that's all that you're likely to have them is one year, and you hope longer. But if not, that's fine. And yeah, if you do, don't be mad about it. Yeah, yep. and, and no, no text rate sucks. None of us. I don't like it. Yeah. Nope, don't like it. Don't like but it. You got to live with it. You got to live with it. It's just, it's just the new day and age of college sports yep. uh, that we're dealing with. A. A. Ron says Techno Bowl. Uh, yes, indeed. In, uh, uh, back in the nineties, NBA Jam. It too. was. Ham and Beans. What's up with you, man? He goes three season tickets with uh, with fee comes out to four K in North End Zone. Wow. Yeah, and then the next comment is Def Jam Fight for New York. I think I still got my Blockbuster copy. Man, then your rental fees. Oh, I'm oh, coming for you. Uh-oh. I'm about to I'm on day, collection bro. agency. Can you imagine that? Oh, you man, that's that. $5 a day. <laughs> <laughs> that is that. $5 a day late that, rental. That, yeah. on. that polo that Amon had on. I had a blue, <laughs> I had a blue, blue knocking on the door. Blue polo with the Blockbuster. Give me my game. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know it, 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 what to do the math. We got to do the math. If you know the date, the date may be on the uh, – the, Oh, I'm on the case. Uh, <laughs> I should have never know, admitted that. I, want is, I just want to know the numbers because that was in the 90s, and it's $5 a day. A.G., is the A-G, fine. what you going to do? What you going to do? A.G. is looking for you. Oh, it's on. It is I just want to know the numbers. The bounty, a, the bounty hunter. The, the, the blockbuster hey. bounty hunter. 
they wouldn't let me. Yeah, people, yeah, people. Like, he wouldn't want me. Ham and beans wouldn't want me to show up. Come in, come in, like, hey, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence are still the bad boys. Uh, Tom Cruise is still Mission Impossible. It's going to be one of them showing up. Here, here's how about three going to show up. Raph is going to be the enforcer. We got AG is going to be Intimidator. I'm going to be trying to talk to them to just give it up the game. I'm just no. going to try to dissuade them. You don't want this smoke. Give us the game. Yeah. Right. If you notice the things that I like, like from Batman and Bad Boys, <laughs> I'm about that life. So <laughs> yeah. when you got to owe up on rental fees, I'm your guy. You so you got to watch. You got to watch your, pay your rental bro. fees. Hey, you guys, you know, pay your rental fees, there's man. one blockbuster left in the United States. In Oregon. In Bend, Oregon. In Oregon. When I was in Seattle. I've seen the documentary. Yes. I love it. I, and I they mean, use it as an Airbnb sometimes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I found that out, too. It's awesome. I'm going to do it one summer. My poor, wife ain't going to like it, but Josh I'll do it. Space, he's going, what What's the hell? Blockbuster. Blockbuster. Yeah, no, I, used I thought it was a really good movie. <laughs> Oh it's my a, god! It's a no. great documentary. <laughs> a really good movie. Yeah. It is. Uh, I used to go every Saturday. Yeah. When he was like a diapers. No, I have. I would say when I was like seven or eight. Yeah, me and yeah. my mom. Would it go was still get, around. Too. We'd go get some breakfast, and then she's like, "Okay, like go pick out three movies in a video game." Or that something. was a, yeah. Man. You better have brought them back on time, or else AG's coming for you. Yeah. yeah. I got him in. He go, right. AG's <laughs> gonna visit with you after break. Hey. <laughs> Speaking of break, hey. folks, we're gonna take one. What was your thoughts on last night's games? Because that LSU Iowa game was a Great track game. meet. Yeah. It was absolutely amazing. If you stayed up late enough, too, you saw a doubleheader of another great game. Folks, we'll be right back. It's the drive. It's Tuesday, April 2nd. Hopefully, somebody didn't get you too bad yesterday on April Fool's Day. We're not going to fool you. We are coming back. It's the drive, 93.7 a ticket. Hey there, fellas. It's your girl, Jordan, with Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Women may be complicated, but I make sure buying jewelry isn't. Your gal has a style, and you can figure this out. Is she more of a classic necklace kind of gal, or does she rock the boho chic vibe with layers of delicate bracelets? This is crucial intel. Not trusting your intel? Stop in the store, and we'll sort out the details. I promise to make this super easy. Until next time, this is Jordan at Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Happy shopping, guys. Hey guys, Jake Sorensen here from Early Break. The garage door at our house has been needing replacement for a couple years, and a few months ago, we finally did something about it. Steve's Garage Doors and Services was great through the whole process in providing options and also going to the next level to get a door that was approved by our HOA. And best of all, the removal of the old door and installation of the new door was done smoothly with no issues. Call Steve's Garage Doors and Services today at 402-480-2840. Are you looking to get into the electrical construction industry or wanting a new scene? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Ironhide Construction is hiring. They're looking for hardworking, self-motivated individuals who are team players. Ironhide Construction has openings for an experienced project manager, estimator, apprentice, skilled laborer, and erector or installer. They will train the right people and make sure you understand the position and requirements. At Ironhide Construction, it's own it, be honest, and do it right. Apply today and learn more about their other benefits at ironhideconstruction.com where they're committed to you every step of the way. Wall-to-Wall -wall Wine and Spirits is now open in Lincoln. Shop our expansive collection of wine, beer, spirits, and cigars at 5040 North 27th Street. From top shelf liquor to crowd favorite beer, Wall to Wall Wine and Spirits has a beverage for every taste and every budget. Plus, join our loyalty program to earn rewards and save on future purchases. Shop Wall to Wall Wine and Spirits at 5040 North 27th Street in Lincoln. That's 5040 North 27th Street. Whether you like fishing together or fishing to get away for the thrill of reeling in a big one or just going out to have a good time on the banks of your local pond, at a bend in a river, or on one of our many lakes and reservoirs, you'll always find the perfect place to cast a line here beneath Nebraska skies. Start planning your next fishing adventure today at letsfishnebraska.com. Sponsored by Nebraska Game and Parks, aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. Problem gambling is not just a financial issue. 
It's an emotional problem with financial consequences. If your loved one is struggling with addiction, contact Choices Treatment Center's 24-hour helpline at 402-476-2300. That's 402-476-2300. I'm Karen Carr. I've been a realtor for 31 years. When I made a company change 12 years ago, I chose Lincoln First Realty, now NP Dodge. It's the oldest independently owned realty company in the country. Since becoming NP Dodge, we've continued our tradition of community involvement. Our management and staff are always available to offer support in marketing, technology, social media, and educational opportunities. Expand your career with NP Dodge. Call Eric at 402-434-2222. Hey, Husker Nation. Matt Davison here with 1890. It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan, and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics, and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct impact on the success of our programs. Through 1890, 100% of your contribution goes to the student athletes. So go to 1890nebraska.com, choose your sport, become a member, and help the Huskers recruit and retain the best. Go Big Red. Sand Hills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. The Ticket is proud to provide listeners with daily opportunities to win contests and prizes on our airwaves, and we'd like to take this opportunity to remind you of a couple rules. All participants must be 21 or older and must wait 30 days after winning a prize before participating in another contest. Once you win, you have 30 days to pick up your prize at the KNTK Studios, 1040 O Street in Lincoln, or your prize will be forfeited. Thank you for participating in our contest, and thank you for listening to 93.7 The Ticket. Early break with Sip and Jake. I'd like to have my fun maybe more like on like a, a Tuesday, like in February or something. Let's see if I can pull a prank on somebody. I, I, yeah, yeah, but not on it's prank like day. It's like a total amateur hour. Yeah, it's just like yeah, National Prank Day. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I do got a little announcement. To make. What's but, that? Oh, wait, breaking news? I won't be here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Monday. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wait, can he, this, this, April this. Fool's. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he got it. <laughs> He got that was actually well done. It's so good. Early break with Sip and Jake from six to eight every weekday morning on 937 the ticket. Sick of being upsold at gyms. My guy, you're currently a base member. For $90 more, I can upgrade you to our shred membership. For $130 more, you'll be a swole member. And for just $300 more, you'll reach Sweat Platinum. At Planet Fitness, you'll get energy without the upsell. Never pushy, always free fitness training and equipment for every workout. It's fitness that fits your budget. Join Planet Fitness for just $1 down and $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends Friday, April 12th. See Home Club for details. Whether you like fishing together or fishing to get away for the thrill of reeling in a big one or just going out to have a good time on the banks of your local pond, at a bend in a river, or on one of our many lakes and reservoirs, you'll always find the perfect place to cast a line here beneath Nebraska skies. Start planning your next fishing adventure today at letsfishnebraska.com. Sponsored by Nebraska Game and Parks, aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. Welcome to The Drive with A.D. Raff and Amon Gray. Former Husker football national champion, speaker and author, Aaron Davis. Nebraska will win the national championship. The Cornhuskers beat Miami. It is history. 13-0. And bring that trophy back to Lakers. Former Arena Football League quarterback, former head coach of the Capital City Crush, and guru of Husker football history, Chris Raff. 25 straight wins for the Cornhuskers. One of the most dominating stretches in college football history. We may have seen one of the best teams in the history of college football tonight. 12-year NFL veteran. He's got some speed to go with strength. Huskers and Green Bay Packers Hall of Famer. Shovel pass to Green. It's a Vikings territory. Finally brought down. And University of Nebraska eSports coach Amon Green. Look at Green all by himself. 20, 10, touchdown. Sponsored by Doors Plus on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. 
All right, everybody, we're back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. This second hour is proudly sponsored by Doors Plus. If your garage door needs maintenance or you need an entirely new garage door, give Cameron Hall and his team a call today at 402-590-5800. Doors Plus is locally owned and handles everything from residential or commercial garage doors, garage door openers, safety tune-ups, or custom design. Visit doorsplusc.com. To learn more, Doors Plus, Garage Doors, and more. And we are back. You're sounding uh, out of breath. <clears throat> well, I, was, I had a froggy in my throat, but I didn't want to uh, until I finished. I was wondering if you needed like an inhaler or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Man's got no, I'm, an, I'm a well-conditioned right. athlete. AD saw me yesterday just out there punching and yeah, kicking yeah, like a I man possessed that. by God. I missed the drive with AG Rap <laughs> and, 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 and AD invite. I missed the, I missed the invite. No, I, was, I didn't know right. No, that was an invite. That was a... Oh. That was Chris Raff saying, you know, I could go smoke a cigar or I could go work out. And I chose work out. When was the last time you've been there, you think? Oh, probably four weeks ago, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Probably a month. That was a good good decision. I had some some travel, you know. I had to travel and, you know, take care of travel, family stuff. I wonder if he traveled. Rob just puts a big target <laughs> on himself with his comments. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm not even going to say nothing. I had to go see the fam. <laughs> so no gyms in Alabama? <laughs> oh, I, hey, actually, you know, I, I know actually is a franchise. I walked in Alabama. <laughs> I go out and walk like a mile every day in Alabama. There you go. Yeah. That's all. As long as you move, that's all that matters, yeah. man. Moved. There you I go. I moved. <laughs> Look at Nick's face. I mean, not a ton, but I mean, <laughs> oh, at least it was a little bit. Fridge right to couch, fridge to couch, couch to. Oh seat. man, He's killing you, bro. Hey, you made it yesterday. I That's the seat to yeah. patio. You made it. Oh, yeah. Willie says here, "What up, fellas? What up, Willie?" He goes, "Double dribble replays ruled." Oh yeah, double dribble. Oh, yeah, double, they, they, dribble. Double, double, double dribble. Double dribble. <laughs> Well, folks, there was a lot of dribbling last night. Uh, the LSU Iowa game. I'm gonna tell you right now, man. I am, as we all know, I I'm not a fan of Iowa whatsoever. I'm a, I'm a fan of watching amazing um, uh, moments. And Caitlin Clark was on one last night, man. Yeah. I mean, not even just the shooting part of it, y'all. Yep. The passes, the poise, uh, the way that she got her teammates involved, and she, I mean, it was just it was a thing of beauty to watch, yeah. man. If you're just you know, it's kind of like me with Notre Dame football. I could, I did not, I, to this day, I don't, I don't not like just hate Notre Dame or anything like that. It, I don't. But when I went there to Notre Dame and spoke for their student athletes a number of times, and I went there and seen their facilities, the uh, the history, the memorability, I mean, it was just like wow. You got to yeah. respect it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Iowa just played a heck of a game last night, man. I, I, the thing too is like I, I came out during the game. She is the pistol Pete Maravich of college basketball for the female game. I mean, yeah. her just the way, not all like she could always shoot the ball. You know, she's known for her logo three pointers and stuff like that. And she was hot last night. Mm-hmm. But what impressed me so much about her last night was her court vision and her yeah. passing ability. Yeah. And she sees things before anybody else does. I mean, it's she has a gift. It's it's fun to watch. I mean, I I I was just like, I mean, I hate Iowa. I hate Iowa, but <laughs> yeah. I could not take my eyes off watching her play the game yeah. last night because I was like, she's a cheat code. I mean, she is one she of is. the she is what probably the best. And I know um Josh had talked a little bit before him and his buddies are saying that Paige you Paige Beckers Beckers will be better than Caitlin Clark in the WNBA. And I'm sorry, Josh, but no, nah, she won't. Um Caitlin Clark's an, on a different level. Here's her numbers, y'all. 41 Reagan. points, seven rebounds, 12 assists, two steals, one block. Yeah. Yeah. Angel Reese in a losing effort, 17 points, 20 rebounds, four assists, two steals, three blocks. But, game. Uh, yeah, it was a good game. I'll, I'll be yeah. honest. I, I also don't believe entirely that Angel Reese is the best player on that team. I don't either. I, I think I think Flage Johnson, I think Flage Johnson is, is, the probably, best on the team. is probably the best player on the team. I also think she had the most points. Right despite there. having a, a bad game last night, I think Haley Van Lith is is one of the best guards in the country you know i'm kind of she's 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 good i mean wrong but the, you know one thing i noticed though shut up with all the whining and just oh, play yeah. basketball oh i know but that's but you that's, know what i'm that's, saying that's a big issue across no, the it, board it is across the board but when you're getting when you're playing against a, a team yeah. like iowa and vice versa iowa did their share of it too in the difference like we were talking ag 
when they run into you, if they run into UConn. I'm not saying they're gonna, or UConn or South Carolina. They're going to run into one of them. One uh, of them. UConn first yeah. before yeah, they yeah. see South Carolina. Exactly. And AG, like you talk about, if you share that with, with listeners again, the way those two, Staley and Oriyama coach, yep. their players play the same way. Dogs. Sure. Dogs. Very composed. Very composed. They don't. Like we talked about, throw their hands up when a referee makes the call. They don't let the moment get too big. Exactly. And, and that the mo don't let the moment get too big. Don't let your emotions take the control of you mm -hmm. is what you have to do. Yeah. And with UConn, with uh Dawn Staley and her South Carolina uh, women there, Iowa's women, and then uh who else is in there now? Who's in the fray? NC State. NC, NC State. State. I don't know much about them. So about the other three schools I just mentioned, I just know. What Iowa did showed me something that now I feel it's going to be a game when it comes down to UConn and yeah. them. Because yeah. my thing was, everybody knows what Caitlin's going to do. Yeah. And I used to hear defensive coordinators and linebackers tell, hey, we're going to let you eat, AG. But we're going to shut everybody else down. Mm -hmm. Make so you one dimensional. Let the other team players figure out, oh, we got to play too. Right. And that's what Caitlin's teammates did. They Between the passing able to get the passes and mm -hmm. do some with the ball. Right. So that is their formula. But also on the flip side, for any opposing team knows, hey, if we get to Caitlin, we 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 stop passing lanes. We shut them yep. down. Yep. We get in her face a little bit more. Because mm -hmm. what she was able to do against LSU yeah. and, and the point guard that was guarding her, she didn't have height. So she made that little space. She always take that little extra step back. Just enough space to get the ball. And for a shooter like that, you pretty much got to foul them. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because that, that space they create is it's it is a talent. Hard. It's beautiful when they do it. It's it like is. oh, it's just a couple. This is one step back, and then boom, the best space is need. there. Well, and, and Iowa is probably a Sweet Sixteen caliber team without Caitlin Clark. Yeah, yeah. They, they yeah. have they have the, a, a Folter, and they have uh, Stolke, Stolke, and they have Martin. Keith Martin. Right. They, they have uh, Gabby Douglas, or not Gabby Douglas. That's the gym. The gym. Wow, um, look at that! Oh my gosh, good gym knowledge I, I, I with it. Coach Heather think, Brink coming up. I can't think of the the other one on the on the side. I know you're talking uh, about though. But she had the block. She had the block against Jazz Shelley in the Big Ten Championship mm -hmm. game. So anyway, either Martin or uh, uh, Marshall. Gabby Marshall. There, there it is. Thank you. I knew the first name was Gabby. Yeah. Uh, but nonetheless, that's a sweet 16 team. And then guess what? You had probably one of the best players in the in the in the history of the sport. Uh, that'll do. That'll do. Well, before we go to break, folks, Connecticut defeated USC 8073. Paige Beckers, 28 points, 10 rebounds, six of six, three seals, two blocks. Juju Watkins was not silent either. She had 29 points, yes. 10 rebounds, two Freshman. steals, two assists. Yeah, fresh one, one steal and two blocks. She was in tears after that game yesterday. It was cool to see I Beckers go it. up and, I know that uh, and Solar afterwards. A yep. very tightly contested game. Connecticut pulled away for a little bit, and then USC marched to come back. But it was uh, to no avail. It was the, the time expired, not enough time. But that USC team is going to be a team to be reckoned with if um, if Juju stays in school. Again, we got we run in that picture. If she stays in school. She's, she, she's um, going to be staying. Uh, the way yeah. she said at that press conference and left, and, 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 and left her yeah. emotions out there. Yeah. She coming back. She's coming back. She coming because back. she wants to have that error gone Absolutely. by the time she leaves the collegiate Absolutely. space. Absolutely, because it's been what? And she's a freshman. Forty years. Freshman. Yeah. Freshman. Freshman. Baller. Watch her play. Her game she's play, moved, man, is like is nice. It's I'll just nice. say that it's nice. She had several moves in the paint last night. I was just like, huh? Yeah. She can ball. I'm like her older brother is somebody in the NBA that we don't know about. Yeah. <laughs> That's helping her out. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Same with Clay, uh, Caitlin. Same with Clay. Yeah. Just like the, he, the ladies are showing up. They different. Yeah, right. they showing up. All right, we'll throw her to break. This is the drive. Ninety three point seven. The ticket. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Ninety-three seven. The Ticket is proud to provide listeners with daily opportunities to win contests and prizes on our airwaves, and we'd like to take this opportunity to remind you of a couple rules. All participants must be 21 or older and must wait 30 days after winning a prize before participating in another contest. Once you win, you have 30 days to pick up your prize at the KNTK Studios, 1040 O Street in Lincoln, or your prize will be forfeited. 
Thank you for participating in our contest, and thank you for listening to 93.7 The Ticket. Rosie Sports Bar and Grill. Open for lunch and dinner at 1501 Center Park Road. Sick of being upsold at gyms? My guy, you're currently a base member? For $90 more, I can upgrade you to our Shred membership. For $130 more, you'll be a Swole member. And for just $300 more, you'll reach Sweat Platinum. At Planet Fitness, you'll get energy without the upsell. Never pushy, always free fitness training and equipment for every workout. It's fitness that fits your budget. Join Planet Fitness for just $1 down and $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends Friday, April 12th. See Home Club for details. 93.7 The Ticket. Fox KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your Lincoln forecast for today. Some clouds this morning will give way to sunshine this afternoon. It'll be breezy with an afternoon high around 55. Tonight, mainly clear and breezy. An overnight low around 33. And tomorrow, we'll see mainly sunny skies and more wind. An afternoon high around 54. I'm meteorologist Kyle Clutter for 93.7 The Ticket and the TicketFM.com. Whether you like fishing together or fishing to get away, for the thrill of reeling in a big one, or just going out to have a good time, on the banks of your local pond, at a bend in a river, or on one of our many lakes and reservoirs, you'll always find the perfect place to cast a line here beneath Nebraska skies. Start planning your next fishing adventure today at letsfishnebraska.com. Sponsored by Nebraska Game and Parks, aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. Problem gambling is not just a financial issue. It's an emotional problem with financial consequences. If your loved one is struggling with addiction, contact Choices Treatment Center's 24-hour helpline at 402-476-2300. That's 402-476-2300. Hey, Husker Nation, Matt Davison here with 1890. It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan, and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics, and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct impact on the success of our programs. Through 1890, 100% of your contribution goes to the student-athletes. So go to 1890nebraska.com, choose your sport, become a member, and help the Huskers recruit and retain the best. Go Big Red. Hello, this is Mary Pat Waite. I've had the privilege of working with Lincoln Families as their realtor for more than 31 years. And I'm so proud to be associated with MP Dodge Real Estate. For me, your transaction is unique in its own way. My experience allows me to bring you trusted care and a really great outcome. My NP Dodge family shares the same client focus. Expand your career with NP Dodge. Call Eric at 402-434-2222. Your business runs like a well-oiled machine. It's important that your actual machines do too. Stern is here to make sure you don't have to worry about that. They provide solutions for heavy equipment and automotive fuels, lubricants, and equipment guard options. And with Stern's commitment to customer service for the past 40 years, you know you have a partner to help support your operations for years to come. Contact Roger at Stern Company by calling 1-800-477-2744 or visit them online at stern.co. Stern Company, where problems meet solvers. Spring sports are here and it's time to upgrade your equipment. But don't go rush into your big box store. Play It Again Sports is your place to go for all spring sports equipment for baseball, softball, golf, and disc golf. Play It Again Sports has quality, slightly to gently used equipment, and 50% of their inventory is actually new equipment. And don't forget, buying from them is a great way to get new products with great discounts by also bringing in your used items for store credit or cash on the spot. Play It Again Sports at 48th and Vine. Wall-to-wall wine and spirits is now open in Lincoln. Shop our expansive collection of wine, beer, spirits, and cigars at 5040 North 27th Street. From top shelf liquor to crowd favorite beer, Wall-to-wall wine and spirits has a beverage for every taste and every budget. Plus, join our loyalty program to earn rewards and save on future purchases. Shop Wall-to-wall wine and spirits at 5040 North 27th Street in Lincoln. That's 5040 North 27th Street. Sick of being upsold at gyms? My guy, you're currently a base member? For $90 more, I can upgrade you to our Shred membership. For $130 more, you'll be a swole member. And for just $300 more, you'll reach Sweat Platinum. At Planet Fitness, you'll get energy without the upsell. Never pushy, always free fitness training and equipment for every workout. It's fitness that fits your budget. Join Planet Fitness for just $1 down and $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends Friday, April 12th. See Home Club for details.
The captain for Sean Jackson. If I'm going to watch the men run around, I want to see them run around in tights, in shoulder pads, in helmet, mouthpieces, and gritting their teeth, squinting their eyes. Some people closing their eyes and smashing into each other. That's what I want to see. That's football. That's football. That's football. Don't nobody want to see no, no, uh, we shall overcome type football. They want to see some rock em, sock em, hit you in the mouth football box. Exciting football. Now back to the drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Gray on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we are back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. It is Tuesday, and we are now joined by head coach of the Nebraska women's gymnastics team, Heather Brink. Heather. Hey, hey. hey. Good morning. Hello, hello. Good morning, guys. How are you? Good. 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 How are you doing? Oh, hanging in there, you know, Good. just getting ready for our NCAA tournament. Ooh. You know, Coach, what seems crazy is that it seems like it was just a few days ago. I won't more than a few days ago two weeks ago that you were just starting the season. Now here we are. Right. Right. You know, it, it went, goes by it, it went in a blink. Fast. Yeah. In a blink of an eye. Right. And it goes faster and faster every year, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. Um, we talk about that with the girls all the time, just to embrace their, their moments. Cause they think freshman year, right? Like, Oh, four years is so long. Um, mm -hmm. and then it just keeps going by, right. <laughs> and the clock just, you know, keeps on ticking and eventually they're looking at their final days. So yeah. Yeah. It's always a bittersweet portion of the year. If I'm gonna let Raf take it from here in AG, but I'm gonna ask you this: at this point of the year, what's the biggest surprise so far, good or bad? What's been the biggest surprise for you? You know, I think um, the biggest surprise has just been about how our girls have handled the adversity. Um, they've really kind of bonded together over that, and how they've become close to it. Um, the downside to that is sometimes they take on each other's emotions, right? Mm. And they want to fix fix it for them. So mm. um, that can always be a challenge as you kind of navigate how a team works together and how um, when somebody has a rough routine or a rough turn, then the next kid thinks they have to fix it by doing more than what they're, mm. you know? Um, okay. So I, I think that's been both good and bad. We've worked really hard to kind of get to that space. Um, now it's just about managing how you handle those emotions. So, all right. So we've got, I guess it's been a couple years ago. They kind of switched the format of the yeah. gymnastics. Yeah. So now it's called, you know, it's more right. like tournament. So March madness type ways. Can you explain to the listeners, like how it's set up now, like how yeah. many teams and how, yeah. how do you escalate yeah. to go forward in the yeah. tournament? So our, our ranking is based on what we call NQS or national qualifying score. Um, so it's your six highest scores, three of which have to be away. Three can be from home. You throw out the high and then average the other five. Um, and so based on that, at the end of the 12th week, I think it's the week 12, um, it's the top 36 teams, top 16 are seated. Um, the other 16 are unseated and kind of placed within the regional sites, um, by region or time, time zone kind of thing is how they, how they approach it. Um, so there's four sites, um, 18, well, nine teams go to each one round one. So we call it NCAA tournament round one, mm -hmm. uh, is a play in round. So the bottom two teams at each one of the, the sites, uh, will have a play in round on round one day one. Um, and then there'll be two sessions. The winner of that session will go in the evening session the next day in round two. So then there's four set or uh, four teams in session one four teams in session two and the top two from each one of those sessions then qualify on to round three. And then the top two from those sites then qualify on to what we call NCAA championships. Gotcha. So who are we looking at? Who are you going against in yeah. that round two so far? You don't know the plan. One, yeah. Of course. Yeah. But. So we're against Kentucky, Arizona, and Arkansas in our, in our session. Um, and then in the other session, LSU, Oregon state, oh, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> We don't um, care about the other yeah. session. <laughs> <laughs> Details. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Forget about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it'll be a good competition. We've already been to Arkansas once this year. Um, that's our site that we're going to. Uh, so we're familiar with the arena. We're familiar with the equipment. Mm. Um, it should be a pretty good competition. I mean, ultimately, we just have to do our job. 
you know, control nope. what you can control. We have no offense. We have no defense. So it doesn't really matter what the other teams do. We just kind of need to do our, our thing. Sure. And right. so when you guys head down there tomorrow, then yeah, we head out tomorrow um, and then compete on Thursday. <clears throat> so tomorrow is round one. Um, and then we'll, we'll arrive. And then round two is on Thursday. Then there's a bye day, like an off day. And then round three is on Saturday. So two sites go on Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and two sites go Thursday, Friday, Sunday. So, um, it'll all be on ESPN. Um, and right. so they did that from a television standpoint. Yeah. Right. Should be pretty good. Yeah. It's, it's a really cool time of the year. I mean, everybody right now is watching NCAA basketball, right. And their tournament. Uh, and it's just exciting because what you've done up to this point doesn't really matter, right? Yep. It just comes down to that that one time. So um, hopefully we put it together. And how are you guys looking from a health standpoint? Um, we're, I mean, it's been kind of status quo. Uh, we had one injury throughout the the year that kind of prohibited one of our athletes from kind of finishing the rest of the season. Um, and she would have been in lineups. We have a, a freshman that kind of came in injured and, and has kind of um, not been able to fully return yet. Um, so she'll redshirt the year, but, uh, but yeah, everybody else is, is doing pretty good. I think they're all just excited. They're proud of the work that we've done. They're proud of, uh, where we're at right now. Um, and just really kind of building on our confidence. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, I'm coming from, coming from my, uh, track background here. I see okay. the point system, yes. right? And so how does that work? And then also when you have, when you see like you're in a, you're in a, you're in a battle against yeah. another school or several schools at an event. And you're looking at your points, mm -hmm. you know, so explain that yeah. part of it in terms of that. Cause yeah. I know I remember in track I'm running and my coach, Hey, am I just jump in the long jump real quick? Give me, uh, you don't yeah, have to play. Yeah, you yeah. don't have to win. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to win. Just get just us eight get points. points. <laughs> just get yeah. the point. So how is that? Is that a conversation you've had with some of your um, upper class women? Oh, ladies. Yeah. Give me a nine, nine, five yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> not, not so much. Okay. Um, so our points, every routine, well, I shouldn't say every routine. It depends on what you do, but most right. routines started at 10.0. Okay. So then there, there's then judges. Judgment. Yeah. Correct. Right. And Which is not in track. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So then they, uh, remove their execution deductions based on like if they have a flexed foot or a bent knee or mm. they wobble on the balance beam or they hop on a landing. Um, and depending on how big those errors are, depends on the, the size of the deduction, right? Right. So we have six kids in lineup on every event. Okay. okay. So you get one mulligan. So you drop the lowest score and add up the other five. And that's how, that's how you get to each event score. Ooh. Um, so okay. your goal, right? Like the, the average team kind of on pace right now is about a 197. Um, so that's like a 49, what, 25 yeah. um, average. So you're looking at a 9825, 985 kind of uh, range for that. So you want them to kind of be in that one to one and a half tenth um, execution deduction range. Wow. But you don't, unless there's injury or like you notice somebody who isn't necessarily handling the pressure as yeah. well you don't a, necessarily mental, be right. like hey you're up you know what i mean because you kind of want to be able to give them that opportunity to kind of prepare for the moment yeah. um and and be ready to kind of manage that so yeah i mean it's we try to keep it consistent like yeah. as far as like this is when you go in lineup this that's what the whole preseason is kind of about you're shuffling people around mm. in lineups you're giving different people opportunities you want to kind of see what the judges think of certain routines um, maybe you're like, oh, I think that routine's going to go a nine, nine. And the judge is like, oh, no, nope, nine, seven. <laughs> and you're like, okay, well, we're going to have to fix some things. So, um, right. I, I think there's, um, a lot of moving and shuffling kind of going on in the preseason, but towards the end of season, we're really kind of trying to stick to those, those normal bases and not really just throw somebody, uh, into a situation. All right. So what I'm hearing, like, other than like your training camp going into the season yeah. is for your side of it. It's a lot of mental and observation oh, for sure. I, like a, like 90% of it. Yeah. Yeah. And human bias, right? right. Like you have to yeah. kind of consider like who's, with the judges, right? Like you say, you know, judges. something and, and what right. they're going to uh, take. So we do some, what we call inner squads throughout the preseason portion, like which practice meets to get feedback from judges. And they're like, these are some of the trends we're looking at. And this is what we're taking on you. Mm -hmm. um, because once season starts, you don't really get as much opportunity to kind of know why they gave you certain scores. Um, and, oh. and yeah, I mean, it's the, the mental aspect of it is it's a team sport, but it's an individual competitive basis. So in track, yeah. it's similar in that sense, it. right? Like, so 
you can have one bad day, right? Like yeah. one person can have a bad day, but if you get <laughs> two people that have a bad day, uh, mm. it can just throw it's there's no like, Oh, oops, that was a bad call or oops. That was, we'll recover from it. You know, like yeah. you, you, yep. you kind of then just fight to get, to get to the end of it. You know, know? that's what about gymnastics. I think you might tell these judges, that's one of the 10 commandments. Thou shall not judge. Yeah. I mean, for heaven's sake, <laughs> for heaven's sake. I'm going to think you of know, something else, but yeah. I'll get yeah, it. Right, right, they're right, critiqued yeah. on their outfits. They're critiqued on their, like you talked about, on their what they wear out there. Foot placement. Their foot placement. Right. You guys think about this. Different than any other sport. Yeah. In football, Amon, there's been some times to where oh. you've made some bad plays, but you've you covered, you know, yeah. recovered. We you missed a block, recovered. Rap basketball, there's things you recover. You can have a bad play. In, in gymnastics. Yeah. You can't hide it. Yeah. And you and they, they'll dock you right away. You right, can get away right, with a right. lot of stuff in other sports. <laughs> yeah. You know, a wayward shot off the tee and golf. If, okay, I'll, you know, I'll, you know, punch back in the fairway. No, right. once you're right. on in, right. involved in routine, there's no going back. Yeah. Yeah. And everywhere you go, the equipment's different, right? Yes. So yep. it's like the bar might bounce differently, or the balance beam feels shaky, or the has got too is many springs, hard, right? Yeah. And it can really impact how they how they're used to okay. doing the so actual skill awesome. and the technical aspect of it so like there's times where we're like reminding the kids this floor is a little slower so you have to be a little bit more patient mm. right you got to let the springs coil it. in order yep. to kind of bounce but if you're quick the the springs are coiling as you're kind of yep. um trying to react to it so yeah i mean it, it it's it's just a lot of pressure on on one person and i think when we were talking about what's been the you know the surprise of the yeah. season that yeah. that that's been something that's just been ongoing for us is how do you manage that pressure yeah. right they want to deliver for their team and they know that that routine matters uh, it's not right. just a right they yeah. they want that nine eight five nine yeah. nine yeah and they get a nine seven and then the next person's going oh shit now i got whoa <laughs> hey. 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 i love it i love it hey so basically she means business. The basket gymnastics is going to win. Her game face is on. I don't know if I got it in time. I don't know. I do. Folks, I'm not going to make a big deal. She said shift. Yeah. I thought you were just going to say it again. I love you even more. I love you even more. Right, 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 yeah. Game face. The text line. I love it. Yeah. 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 Boom. Are listening, get yeah. 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 She's a sailor. Hey. A sailor. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, you got to love that passion, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. Game <laughs> face on Nebraska gymnastics. Hey, right. and. <laughs> And I think they're going to request you more every my, morning. My speeches, right. right? And your was, popularity level just right, went up yeah. 10 notches. <laughs> so like, oh, I'm interested in gymnastics. <laughs> and Next me at home. Right. 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 And I was just thinking oh, in my man. head, like, what Heather and her coaches got to deal with, just the mental side of it, I'm like, you can come on the practice field anytime if I, in terms of football, baseball, but that ain't nothing mm -hmm. no. because you got judges determining your score. <laughs> right. I can't fathom mm. the, the, the mental of a football from Matt. Yeah. Switching to your job and just say, Hey, we're going to bring, Oh, it would be a lot of fun. It he would, would be a lot of fun. I'm always it. like, why are we running that play? Like, right. <laughs> he like, would I lose it. I don't know. Anything, well, then, but, about this. Yeah. And then you deal with the human bias factor. Yeah. Maybe right. Maybe there's someone who's got to actually grind against Nebraska. Maybe they, oh, you just, all of those, cause oh. think about this. It'd be hard to, I'm, and I'm sure you've read this before. It would be so hard to be objective at times. If someone had, an axe to ground with Nebraska, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. they didn't like it. For, 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 for all they humans. may not be working there, then. Yeah, well, they shouldn't be. <laughs> Have you ever had a case to where you're like, okay, that was clearly bias? Mm -mm. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I said yes. You're going to find out. She ain't missing days out in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> No comment. It's okay. Yeah. Plead the fifth. Yeah, share. Yeah. You're no, in a safe I mean, place. Plead the fifth. There's definitely times where you have the conversation with the athletes. You guys do your job. My job is to fight for what I think yeah. is right Correct. And, and what you deserve. Yeah. Now, sometimes I can get, you know, um, get some things changed and, and there's a process to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Um, and sometimes you don't, you just yeah. kind of hope that on the, on the competition floor, the judges are going to be consistent. So 
if our top kid gets a, you know, a 985, that the next routine that's equivalently as good goes 985, right, you know, right. and, and they're not going 99. So yeah. um, that's that's where you kind of hope for some of that space. But there, I mean, there's definitely some strategy in, in what you're doing and yeah, who goes first. Is. You want that consistency. I was going to say lineup adjustments, right. Yeah, like right. who goes where? Can this kid follow if the, if the person in front of them is a little bit questionable? Are they going to hit? Are they going to fall? How's that next person going to handle that that pressure situation? So there, there's definitely some aspect um, of that piece in there. Um, as far as the bias goes, I think there's, there, there's always, there's always biases. I mean, it just, it just is, they're human, you know, and, but we can only control what we can control and, and that's to do our job and to be normal. And hopefully the judges do theirs. All right. I got some stuff for you at the All break right. here in terms of working out right. and getting them getting the ladies ready. So Raph or AD. Unknown text or 7592 before we go to a hard break here. It goes, I'm interested in gymnastics now. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, Ram, right. take us yeah. a break, my man. All right. Big thanks to Heather for joining us today. Good luck in Thank Fayetteville you. this weekend. We'll throw it to break. This is The Drive, 93.7, the ticket. Thanks. You can get diesel anywhere, but what about atomic diesel? That comes from Stern. Atomic diesel is your solution to all your cold weather problems. Prevent clogged fuel filters, increase your fuel economy, and save money with atomic diesel. Contact Roger at Stern today by calling 1-800-477-2744 to see how Atomic Diesel and the rest of their line of fuels and lubricants can keep your operation running at max capacity. I'm Karen Carr. I've been a realtor for 31 years. When I made a company change 12 years ago, I chose Lincoln First Realty, now MP Dodge. It's the oldest independently owned realty company in the country. Since becoming NP Dodge, we've continued our tradition of community involvement. Our management and staff are always available to offer support in marketing, technology, social media, and educational opportunities. Expand your career with NP Dodge. Call Eric at 402-434-2222. Houses? They're expensive. And once you buy one, you're kind of stuck with it for a while. You need to make sure you get your best house for the best price. You need Ben Bleicher and his team of pros at Professional Realty Group. They'll take the time to figure out what's important for you in your dream home, and they have the expertise to find the hidden issues that could surprise you after the sale. That's professional knowledge, proactive service. We call that potential. Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Service Ambassador. Find more online at prg-ne.com. Jake Sorensen here for The Body Shop. My wife is nearing her due date with our first child and has been in need of a good massage as her body continues to change and adapt. Dennis and the team at The Body Shop were incredible with the prenatal massage that she's still talking about today. I was also able to get a deep tissue massage, so it was a great bonding experience and a unique couple's massage in general. If you're in need of stress relief, book a massage today at thebodyshoplincoln.com, The Body Shop at 48th and A. Tanner's Bar and Grill is the perfect place to watch the NCAA tournament from the round of 64 all the way to the championship. Bring your friends and family in to enjoy Tanner's delicious hamburgers, chicken lips, and daily specials, and wash it down with one of their tons of options of beers. You'll never have an issue finding the game, as there are TVs everywhere throughout the space. So get in early, grab your spot, and settle in for a day of NCAA tournament basketball at Tanner's Bar and Grill, 30th in Yankee Hill. Go hard barbecue. If the week's been too hectic to even think about dinner, or your family can't handle one more night of leftovers, then it's time to let Hogwild do the cooking. Hogwild's family packs are one heck of a good deal for a complete barbecue meal loaded with all the smoked meats, tasty sides, buns, and sauces you need to feed your family. Order online at GoHogWild.com. Hogwild Pit Barbecue, 3210 Cornhusker Highway in Lincoln. But don't be late, we close at 8. My dream was to work in commercial banking, but it required a college degree and I didn't have one. I found out that Doan had classes for adult learners on the Lincoln campus and online. So I earned my bachelor's degree and five months later, I landed my dream job. I decided to continue my education and now I'm working on my MBA at Doan. For me, the Doan experience has been life-changing. 
Spring sports are here and it's time to upgrade your equipment. But don't go rush into your big box store. Play It Against Sports is your place to go for all spring sports equipment for baseball, softball, golf, and disc golf. Play It Against Sports has quality, slightly to gently used equipment, and 50% of their inventory is actually new equipment. And don't forget, buying from them is a great way to get new products with great discounts by also bringing in your used items for store credit or cash on the spot. Play It Against Sports at 48th and Vine. Problem gambling is not just a financial issue. It's an emotional problem with financial consequences. If you or a loved one is struggling with addiction, contact Choices Treatment Center's 24-hour helpline at 402-476-2300. That's 402-476-2300. The Omaha Supernovas are back in action this Tuesday, April 2nd, versus the San Diego Mojo at the Vieja Serena in San Diego. The Mullen Motors pregame show with Derek Pearson and Renee Saunders starts at 8 p.m. with first serve at 9. Make sure to tune in to the next Ag Appraisal Realty postgame show right after the match ends. Catch all the action on your flagship station, 93.7 The Ticket, and statewide on the Supernovas Radio Network. Iron High Construction is hiring. They're looking for hardworking, self-motivated individuals who are team players. Iron High Construction has openings for an experienced project manager, estimator, apprentice, skilled laborer, and erector or installer. They will train the right people and make sure you understand the position and requirements. At Iron High Construction, it's own it, be honest, and do it right. Apply today and learn more about their other benefits at ironhideconstruction.com, where they're committed to you every step of the way. At Union Bank, people don't have your money. Your money has people. First home people, investment people, people people, people who answer the phone and your chats, dream car people, dream retirement people, driving your dream car in your dream retirement people, small business people, credit card people, and all the other people you need. At Union Bank, our people help you do more than you dreamed possible. So stop in and say hello. We can't wait to see you. Union Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Whether you like fishing together or fishing to get away, for the thrill of reeling in a big one, or just going out to have a good time. On the banks of your local pond, at a bend in a river, or on one of our many lakes and reservoirs, you'll always find the perfect place to cast a line. Here, beneath Nebraska skies. Start planning your next fishing adventure today at letsfishnebraska.com. Sponsored by Nebraska Game and Parks, aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. 93.7 The Ticket is proud to provide listeners with daily opportunities to win contests and prizes on our airwaves, and we'd like to take this opportunity to remind you of a couple rules. All participants must be 20 or older and must wait 30 days after winning a prize before participating in another contest. Once you win, you have 30 days to pick up your prize at the KNTK Studios, 1040 O Street in Lincoln, or your prize will be forfeited. Thank you for participating in our contest, and thank you for listening to 93.7 The Ticket. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM for 93.7 The Ticket. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Green on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we're back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. This segment is proudly sponsored by Florio's Italian Restaurant and Grill just south of Lincoln Southwest High School on 14th and Pine Lake Road. Florio's Italian Restaurant provides a cozy, family-friendly setting where good food and good company come together. <laughs> All you have to do is visit floriosne.com or call 402-423-5576 to make reservations or place takeout orders. Got it. Bam. Bam. All right. have a visit over there. It's delicious. It's time, huh? All right. Today's Raph's Good Take goes out to the Director of Football Player Development at the University of Nebraska, Gus Felder. Mm. I'm telling you right now, if you have not watched the new Chasing 3 video put out by the Nebraska football, you need to catch that and catch the Gus Felder segment. Uh, Just all the great things that he is doing um, for the football players on the Nebraska team. Um, Not only getting them ready for professional careers, but also getting them ready to be uh, people outside of football. It's pretty cool. All the schools that they're going to, all the food banks they're visiting, everything that he's setting up and just making a positive impact on the community. So uh, Gus, Coach Gus Felder, you are Raph's good take. 
Love it. Love it. Love it. it. Love it. Oh man, appreciate Coach uh, Heather Burns being with us this morning. Uh, yeah, uh, good awesome. luck to the uh, to the gymnastics teams. They go down to Arkansas to compete, and so in safe travels to them. AD Attitude Adjustment is sponsored by Integrated Life Choices. ILC is hiring for direct support professionals all over the state of Nebraska. Full time, part time, days, evenings, and weekends. Help ensure a meaningful life for the people you support and helping to achieve their hopes and dreams. Apply at ILC.net backslash careers. Folks, here's the reality. If you want inner peace, you know, continue to work on your inner peace like I, we all have to. Uh, the person that cut you off cannot make you mad. The person who flipped you off while they were driving can't make you mad. It can make you irritated. But you know what, folks? We allow ourselves to get angry when we allow situations and other people to dictate our attitudes. No one can truly make us that mad, especially when you don't even know them. So if you want to work on your inner peace, and this is something I work on all the time. It's an ongoing project for me uh, with travel, just with life, regardless of what you're doing. Don't surrender your attitude to circumstances to other people if you want to keep your peace. Hey, G, take us home, big boy. Hey, preach. Man, uh, great show today, fellas. Coach awesome. Brink, that was awesome. Um, got some. I might jump in uh, workouts with them. There we go. Do some little cardio Love with the it. squad. But uh, have a great rest of your day and week, and we'll catch y'all. I'll catch you on Thursday. Thursday, yeah, All absolutely. Right. absolutely. All right, perfect. Everyone, be nice to each other, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. tomorrow.